Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another hated video, or I should say welcome back to another tragic video because my friend, we have lost another really good event in the game if you did not notice, which I doubt because I'm sure everyone's really sad about it right now. So that's what we're going to be talking about and um, I just want to talk about what's up with these events and why do we keep losing them because if you guys remember back in February, which was just like two months ago, we lost our global valentine's event and it had a really cool exclusive decoration that we could never get and it was just really sad so i'm just gonna see what's going on around my farm um i see a package over here oh what's this huh i'm really confused oh i'm so silly i forgot that i actually ordered a chick voucher from the catalog over here i'm not really playing this event so I just got a bunch of chocolate bunnies and I spent them on the cheek vouchers. I thought that was the best option I could spend my bunnies on. Alright, I'm just gonna have a look at the visitors over here. You're shopping for the grandma and for the first time I don't have uh, the ice cream to give you so you can just go away. Uh, and I don't even have any coconuts. My coconut trees are like almost dead so um, it's gonna be a lot of work but I'll just um, cut them later. I need to revive my bushes, so I'm just going to uh, cut them, and then we can actually buy some more. I don't normally buy a lot of them because you guys know that I hate when they get dead, um, and I usually just work with like nine of them, and the same with the actual peanut bushes, so. Alright you guys, now I'm going to come to the main topic of this video, which was actually about the event that we just um, lost in the game. So if I tap on the event board right now, we have another event which is the expansion permit spin the wheel. But yesterday, I think for the past three days, we were having a spring special um, fishing event. And if you have a look over here, it says we didn't make it, but we did our best. We'll show the world next time. And of course, as usual, we lost a really cool decoration. So the goal for this fishing event was 300 million pounds of fish, and we only did 270. And I was honestly having the feeling that we were going to lose this event because the start was not good i remember when i recorded the video on like the second day of the event we were just really below like how we would normally perform so like i don't understand why people are so lazy in the fishing events and this is not the first time we're losing a fishing event in the game we actually lost a summer event back in 2022 that had a really cool exclusive decoration that i can never forget and i can never forgive the community for actually losing that event uh but that was in 2022 right now the deco that we lost uh, let me just show you guys if it's actually on greg's farm uh, it was a bunny deck when I think it was really cute. So we're just gonna search. I think I did see. Oh, yeah, there we go. This is the deco that we've lost. It's not really big, but it's actually very cute, and I think this was perfect for the Easter, especially for the people who don't spend money in the game to buy the decos. Global events are the only opportunities they can actually participate in, and then they can get rewards. But losing those events, I think it's very demotivating, and I just don't understand what's up with hated team, or generally what's up with the community. Like, why do we not participate in these events? So there's a couple of reasons that I know that I'm going to mention. Um, I could be wrong. Of course, you guys can let me know your thoughts in the comments. Okay, first of all, I think this was the wrong timing of the event. Basically, Hate is a very dynamic game. There's a lot of things that are happening in this game. And I mean, if you're a daily player, if you're an active player, you know what I'm talking about. You've got your derby, you've got your town, you've got your valley, and uh, you've got your events going on. So there's a lot of things you have to do simultaneously. And a lot of people don't even do them. Some things can be very optional. Like if you like the town, you can play it. If you want to skip the valley, you can do that. But for the events, right now in the game, we're having like one of the biggest events of all time which is the um easter egg maker so i'm sure a lot of people are busy in playing that event you know like you have to make a lot of eggs and then you have to fill the boat crates so people might not focus on the other events which could be anything it's just not the fishing event maybe that could be one of the reasons that this event actually came at a very wrong time and people probably were not very enthusiastic about it which i doubt because i mean obviously community loves getting free decorations and uh, people did so hard then why do we lose these events and that's going to come to my second point which is hated team setting the goal really high you see this time the event goal was 300 million pounds of fish and back in summer when we lost that um sheep decoration the sand sheep it was the same goal 300 million and we could not make it so i think at this point 300 million pounds of fish is actually impossible 
We did win the Halloween fishing event, but the problem was they reduced the goal to 280 million. So they knew that we were not going to make it if this was like 300 million, right? And that's the reason they actually reduced it so that we don't lose another event. But this time it was again 300 million. Now, this is just my estimate. Of course, I'm not talking this as a fact. There could be many other factors that have contributed to this. Like maybe people were just busy at this time. But all I can think of is that it's a really high goal. And right now, maybe there's not a lot of people in the community around the world that really play Haiti a lot. I mean, I'm sure there's millions of people that still play Haiti every day, but they might not be very enthusiastic about participating in the events. They might have their other focus. So one thing's for sure that now achieving a 300 million fishing goal, it's just impossible. I mean, that's all I can think of because we've lost the previous events for the same reason, just because we could not make the goal. Now, someone said we lost it because the Easter was over when Haiti gave us this event. This is a reason that I'm not going to believe in. I mean, it's just kind of absurd to think of it that way. I mean, I know there's many people that don't play these events. That's fine. Even I did not complete my goal. I just did like the global one. But the issue is with the community, like the whole effort of the people, like what's the reason we could do 270 million, but we could not do 300 million. I'm sure if we had like one more day, we could have done it. Uh, but the time is low. And of course, Haiti has set the goal really high. Um, I'm not going to say that they are doing it intentionally because like, why would Haiti do this? It's their game. Like, why would they not want us to win the decoration? I think Haiti should reconsider about their goals in the game and they should focus on like how many people are playing this game currently because it's not 2016 anymore when Haiti was like at their peak. Guys, I'm not being negative. Uh, the purpose of this video is not really renting or throwing shade to anyone. Just don't get me wrong, please. Hate is a really good game. It's still doing perfect. But I'm just trying to say that now there's not a lot of people who probably play these events as they used to do back in the day, right? So, so previously, we might have had done like 350 million pounds of fish, but now it's actually impossible to do 300 million just because globally, if we talk about it, there's not a lot of people who are much enthusiastic about these events. So that's something Haiti should reconsider. Uh, Haiti should rethink and they should probably reduce these goals so that people can get these decorations because it's extremely uh, demotivating and extremely disappointing to lose these events, especially when you have such high expectations. So that's all I'm going to say. I mean, I'm feeling sad for myself because you guys know that even though I'm not a deco freak, but I do like getting these exclusive decorations. They just become a part of our memory, but there's nothing that can be done right now. We just didn't make it. We'll have to cross our fingers for the next time. And I'm not even sure if this deco is going to return probably next year. Uh, we shall see what happens. But for the moment, we just have to accept this bitter reality that we have lost this event. And um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know what things can be done to make these events better so that a lot of people participate or maybe we can reach our goals. Do you think it's because of the higher goals? Do you think generally people just don't play these events? So, so let me know your thoughts in the comments and subscribe to the channel for more hated content coming. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. I really appreciate you guys. Have a good day. Bye.